Welcome to episode 160 of EDH Commander Challenge. I'm your host, BT. As we get closer and closer to our next tournament, we're revealing the brackets in a new way this time, featuring the players who will face each other in the first round in exhibition-style matches, like a calm before the storm. Hence why this week, we have Emma and Jimmy who are ready to throw down both using new creatures from the Commander Legends set. Now then, let's jump in and check out those opening hands. First, in this corner, with an opening hand of three islands, Witching Well, Cancel, Compulsive Research, Prying Eyes, and his mono blue partner style commanders, Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro and Glacian Powerstone Engineer, he is the unpredictable Jimmy. Next, in this corner, with an opening hand of a forest, Wirewood Lodge, Bajukabog, Taunting Elf, Incubation Druid, Elvish Arc Druid, Natural Reclamation, and her Golgari style general, Abomination of Lanawar. She is the prodigy. This is Emma. I'm on the dice for the start us off, so let's begin this new card fight. For their first turns, Emma plays a forest into a turn one taunting elf. While Jimmy plays an island and casts Witching Well. This lets him scry two cards, placing one card on the top and the other on the bottom. Emma plays Wirewood Lodge and casts Incubation Druid while Jimmy plays another island. Emma plays Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth, making all lands also swamps and casts Elvish Arc Druid. However, Jimmy stops it right away by casting Arcane Denial, countering the spell, as Emma passes. During Jimmy's upkeep, he draws an extra card, while Emma draws two cards due to the secondary effect of Arcane Denial. Jimmy then plays an island and casts Compulsive Research, drawing three more cards and discarding a land before passing. Emma plays a forest and casts Elvish Visionary. With its ETB, she gets to draw a card. Then she casts Swiftfoot Boots, which then equips to her new creature. Then she moves into combat and pokes Jimmy with it for a damage and passes. Jimmy casts a core wellspring, and with its ETB, gets to draw a card. It actually turns out to be the island Jimmy plays as his land for the turn, before passing. Emma starts her turn by casting Fauna Shaman, followed by her general, Abomination of Lanawar. Then she plays a tapped Bajuka Bog, exiling the contents of Jimmy's graveyard. Then she moves into combat and pokes Jimmy with her visionary for one damage and passes. Jimmy plays an island and casts one of his generals, Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro, and passes. Emma plays a forest and casts Golgari Guildmage. Next, she equips her boots to her general, who is currently a 7 7. Then she casts Sensei's Divining Top and proceeds to move into combat, at which point she attacks Jimmy with her Abomination. Jimmy can't block it as it has menace and thus suffers 7 damage. In her second main phase, Emma uses her Sensei's top 
to check and rearrange her top three cards and proceeds to end her turn. For Jimmy's turn, he plays a basic and casts Sharding Sphinx and passes the turn. Emma starts her turn by casting Machias the Unhallowed, which despite not being an elf card, gives her elves plus one plus one and undying. Then Emma moves into combat and attacks Jimmy with her general, who's now an 8-8. Jimmy wants to block the hit, but chooses to take it as he needs his creatures to survive. And Emma passes the turn as she is now one hit away from victory. Jimmy reveals he has a Cyclonic Rift in his hand and needs one more mana to use the Overload effect. So for the time being, he casts Vidalkin Shackles and uses it to gain control of Machias as he has six islands in play. He then moves into combat and attacks Emma with his Sphinx for five damage. Jimmy gains a 1-1 Thopter token via his Sphinx's combat trigger and passes. Emma plays a forest and casts Natural Reclamation which he uses to blow up Jimmy's shackles and regain control of Machias. With the Cascade trigger, Emma gets to cast the 4CMC Dwinin Guiltleaf Dian, making her elves even stronger. Emma then moves into combat to which Jimmy is ready to block her general, but Emma states, sorry it won't happen, as she attacks with both her general and taunting elf. The elf's effect forces Jimmy's creatures to block it, allowing the abomination to deal lethal commander damage to Jimmy as Emma takes a neat and almost complete total domination style win. Jimmy's partner commanders look like an interesting pair but unfortunately, he got overwhelmed before he could show them off. Sharding Sphinx was interesting enough, as with enough time, I could see some pretty funny shenanigans with the Thopter tokens he would get, along with the Glacian Commander he unfortunately never got to cast. I'm calling it. Abomination of Land of War is an undervalued, underrated, yet OP elf general that we always wanted. First of all, the weakness of turbo tribal decks like elves and goblins is and has always been board wipe. But in this general's case, it's basically the elf version of Soulless One, giving you a powerhouse creature even if you do get board wiped. Also, with access to black, Imagine cards in the deck like Sheoldred Whispering One, Living Death, and Patriarch's Bidding to bring back whatever gets destroyed. I am sure I'm going to see way more Abomination of Land War decks and EDH in the near future. You with our picks? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoy our content, consider becoming a patron. Give you access to some sweet things like entries into our tournaments, bonus entries for giveaways, your nickname at the end of each video as part of our esteemed EDHCC club, and so much more. Thank you as always for supporting us. Please smash the subscribe button and help us reach our next goal of 2,000 family members. Until next time, stay safe, stay warm, Keep on, keep on card gaming. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you're a fan of EDH gameplay and you like whether it be 1v1 or multiplayer and you want to be part of the ever growing Commander Challenge family, just make sure you smash the subscribe button and notification bell down below. We do weekly videos. Don't forget as well to like, comment, share our videos, but most importantly, enjoy them.
On behalf of all of our members here, I'm your host BT. Feel free to check out all of the videos in the channel. Join our game. It's now your turn. Cheers.